my doofus dog chewed the face off of my mom's childhood bear. Yeah, given to me by my brothers, four brothers. They saved up money. They saved up money to buy her for Christmas one year. And luckily, my sister knows how to. Well, I don't know if I know how to, but I am doing it. <laughs> the intentions are good. It's done with love. Yeah. More you cannot ask for. <laughs> We won't show them the end results. But everybody's still laughing and smiling. Top of the morning, friends and family. Before we get into this 2022 review, I would like to know what you did for your last week of 2022. I'm here in my parents' bedroom. My whole family has taken over this room of the house because my entire family is staying here in my parents' house for the whole last week of 2022. That means all of my family in my parents' room. My sister and her kids here in the, their old bedroom, crashing on the floor. My other sister and her whole family, including her dog, in my old bedroom. And my parents have kicked themselves out to this couch on the patio out here. <laughs> And this is what we've been doing for the last week. So what have you been doing for the whole last week of 2022? I'd like to know before we get into this review. We're going to have a party with like 25 extra people in the house too. So my dad's getting, it's supposed to rain the whole time too. So we're, my dad's building a little place where people can come and escape the house and also be out of the rain at the same time. Just documenting for insurance purposes. Oh. This space here seems to be staying quiet for the moment. So we'll try this out. Now, a lot did happen in 2022. I've definitely missed some opportunities in 2022 on purpose, like going to uh, Animal Con, going to Thailand with Dave and Adam Wickens. A lot of things I sacrificed being with family for since my wife's pregnant uh, instead of going out and traveling as much. However, there was some pretty good traveling that did happen regardless of that uh, before we found out we were pregnant. And there are lots of uh, pitfalls, lots of highlights. We're going to try to focus mostly on the highlights. Let's go with the whole year to start with. Uh, this is the first year we accepted a second sponsor in Morph Market, which is very exciting. We've been invited to produce a lot of the video content for the Reptile Super Shows, which has also been really fun. And Rami's a wonderful guy, and we're actually going to be at the Reptile Super Show next weekend doing just that. So come along and if you see us filming, we're going to be doing it for the Reptile Super Show, and we'd love to see you there. We've hashed out some wonderful ball pythons this year. Definitely some of the best ball pythons we've hashed out yet. Of course, Freedom Breeder stuff has been blossoming. We've been doing more videos over there and also showing all the new products coming out. And as Freedom Breeder is growing into a just a rack business and phasing out of snakes and everything that's going to be moving forward there has been exciting to be part of. And of course, all the videos I got to do with my new little tiny T. She's been my co-host for a lot of the ball python videos and she's really been loving the snakes and I've been loving having her this year. Huge part of the videos, really. She's like my co-host in so many of the videos and it's been, it's been great to have her come along and blossom and just see her excitement. I, that's been a definite thing. And then this is the first year that we've allowed the ball pythons to keep their own eggs and let them hatch out with the moms, as you've been seeing in these recent videos. And that's something we plan to do with probably all of our females in 2023. Beginning of this year, January, we kicked it off with bringing back Music Monday. And we had a few Music Monday hits, and the first of which was the return of the daily vlog. And I don't know if a lot of people caught the joke that d throughout the course of filming that first daily vlog, uh, the song became a joke that this is the end of the daily vlog. By that time that vlog was over, I realized that it was not sustainable to try and do a video every single day for the, the year of 2022. Whew. Oh, you know what? That's a lot of work. Um, this is day one. End of the daily vlog. I think that went over most people's heads, but that's okay. Um, one exciting thing about this next coming year, we'll talk about when we get into December, the things that have happened in December of this year. We will probably be bringing back Music Monday as a regular segment. All kinds of ideas up there for original and cover songs from Music Monday coming back. So please leave me a comment down below if Music Monday is something that you're looking forward to in 2023. Now, February was a there was a big moment between my father and I. I wrote a letter to him, a very important letter. Read it to him and was able to capture it here on camera and share with you guys too. That was a, that was a pretty special moment. 
and definitely a highlight of 2022 in the month of February for me. We took the family to the snow, and then, of course, there was uh, our great trip out to Reach Out Reptiles. It was certainly a highlight. Got to see their new facility out there and do a, a whole tour around the place, and hope you guys got to check that video out. But uh, that was definitely a highlight for 2022. In March, I did my very first Spartan race, which I failed at horribly. Well, I, I completed the race, but just torn and tattered and destroyed was a big catalyst for getting me to get into better shape starting at the beginning of this year. And that journey is still continuing and I'm planning to be probably in the best shape of my life within the next couple of months. Things are looking up and all because of that first Spartan race. That's what really kicked it off. And also in March, we went to Tinley and we were able to help put out some of their very first US Arc channel content, which US Arc, if you have not been following along, has their own channel now. It's very important that you go over there and subscribe so that we can show a number base for people. Uh, members for US Arc are obviously very important, but really getting that channel going, getting up, and we're trying to get as many people involved in it as possible. April, more snow. Stuck in the snow when we're visiting my sister in Nevada. That was exciting, get stuck on Donner's Pass. That was, a first for me, actually, and fun to do with all the kids, just for a short while. Luckily, it wasn't too long, but it was still kind of a highlight in a way. Also went to Kentucky for our Whiskey Wimps channel, which if you haven't checked out the Whiskey Wimps, you should check it out and see if you like it. And if you do, then you should subscribe. But we went to Kentucky just for that. Got to meet a lot of really cool uh, folks that I watch here on YouTube. Kind of when I have people come up to me at reptile shows, kind of nerding out to meet me. That's how I was at this, at this whiskey thing. It was like all these whiskey tube content creators that were there and I got to meet and hang out with them in person and uh, do some networking there and then continue to give a, a very negative review of the weekend which probably wasn't a good move but it was the truth pardon me oh you're pardoned but that was definitely a highlight going to Kentucky even though we got stuck for extra days that we weren't planning on because thank you spirit um, April was also the Ragnar race that was my second time competing in any kind of competitive race thing and it was with a bunch of guys a group of 12 guys going in the vans that was another step along really beginning this journey to, to running and getting excellent cardiovascular health. Um, that was that was a big highlight for me. And then May, May was actually somewhat uneventful. We did have a woodpecker come into our snake room for a short visit. I think I found it on the road maybe actually and I brought it inside and then it, it, I thought it was dead and I was just hoping it wasn't and then it, it woke up and flew around the snake room. That was That was exciting. And also our video on talking about how to assist feed with rat tails was a pretty big hit too. But other than that, May was kind of a uh, my sister's birthday. June, we got to go out to Iowa, go herping with Dave in Minnesota on that same trip, which was awesome. But if you missed the story of how we ended up flying out to Iowa, how I ended up flying out to Iowa with Noah to go share my testimony at the church out there, um, it was a really awesome story of how God has been working in our lives. That was just like one of the big boom. How about this to show you how, how it works? And it was really a big moment for me in 2022. And if you, again, if you missed that story, um, go click on this up here and you can check that out. How many of you guys are watching on your TV and not commenting? You're probably not gonna comment because you're watching on your TV. It really helps us if you comment when you watch the videos too. If you like have it pulled up on your phone too, just so you can comment while you're watching on your TV. I know they're great to watch on TV. We got the nice new camera and lens and it looks great up there, but if you guys can comment down below also, that would be fantastic. We'd appreciate it, thank you. All right, we're exactly halfway through this video and I wanna take a moment to talk about one of our sponsors, Morph Market, and some of the things that they have just wrapped up for the end of 2022, new features on Morph Market, such as the fact that not yet established animals can be listed for sale, so if you got snakes that you are just hatched and you're just raising them up, you can have them listed for sale and there's a way that they're encompassing that into the site. You can also now have groups or pairs, like you know, one, one male and two females, sold as a package on the site, which before it was all individual animals, but now you can package together group animals and have sales there on the site as well. And also, if you have not downloaded the app yet, the messenger capabilities are now real time. So instead of having to wait for somebody's email to come through, you can be on the app. If you haven't downloaded the new app, that's something you should probably do. And right in there, you can just have a conversation with a customer back and forth or with somebody that you're looking to purchase from, and it's real time. You send the messages back and forth, just like you're having a text conversation right through the Morph Market site. And we'll keep track of the entire conversation, everything that was said for your records and for ease of communication with your buyer or your seller. Lots of really new and exciting features coming out for Morph Market in the next year also. So I hope you guys will stay tuned and hear about more of that going forward. In fact, we're going to Arlington in the month of February and we'll probably meet up with John out there and do some videos with him just to catch up. 
And of course, our other sponsor, Freedom Breeder. There are plenty of new things that they've come out with in the last few months, including all the new ventilated tubs. Go check out their website. Link is always in the description, and you can see all of the new products that Freedom Breeder has been releasing lately, and you can expect even more of those products to be released in 2023. All right. We're in the middle of summer, 2022. July and August was really a month to get back into backpacking. Took Noah on his first backpacking trips. Went on some cool backpacking trips with my dad. And also got to have a band reunion with my old band from a decade ago and played a show on my birthday. That was, that was definitely a highlight. It was a lot of fun to jump in with those guys and just play on the fly. No rehearsal, just jump in like we've done it for a decade, which we had. Uh, even though it had been almost that much time again. That was that was definitely a highlight for me in 2022. September, maybe the biggest month on the channel here because we announced that we were pregnant with our fourth child. I don't like when people say we're pregnant. I don't know why I said that. Hillary is pregnant. I put the baby there. And we're pretty excited about it. it it's uh, just another one of the blessings and how God's been working our lives. And just so many prayers have been answered this year in subtle ways, in big ways, in huge ways. It's It's been really fun and exciting to be uh, part of what's happening. That baby is, is gonna be a huge thing in 2023 for us. It's gonna be a whole, going back to diapers after we got our, yeah, we've been out of diapers for longer than we were in them for the last, since we started getting into diapers. So it's, it's gonna be an interesting jump. Definitely means I'm not planning to go to daily vlogging in 2023, because that would probably not be healthy. End of the daily vlog. October, yeah, the highlight for October was really car trouble. That was, that was a fun experience, being stuck on the side of the mountain. I mean, in hindsight, it was fun. Even in the moment, it was a little bit fun. And just seeing how many people were able to come together and help out from different places around the state or just where, wherever people were at, it was, it was cool to see that, honestly. It was pretty awesome. And then, of course, Tinley. Tinley is always a highlight. And, and uh, yeah, that's such a, that was such a great Tinley. That was maybe one of the best Tinleys yet. We still have two or three more interviews coming out on Triple B TV from that October Tinley, and then we'll be getting more interviews at the Reptile Super Show in January, so uh, you'll probably see us walking around with our dinosaur again, getting interviews, and, and that should be fun. November. November was the second Spartan race that I participated in. Did it twice as long as the first time with more obstacles, and just was a nice little marker for how well the physical conditioning is going and felt really good about that race. In fact, before the week was up, after that race, in a few days later, I did the turkey trot with my brother-in-law, ran a fastest 10K I've ever run in my life. So that was pretty cool feeling. Not that I ran a bunch of 10Ks, but <laughs> I do, just not official ones, like around my town and stuff. But yeah, anyways, I'm, I'm pretty excited about running. We did a really cool retick update. That was awesome. The kids got a surprise that was not expected and ended up not being a surprise that we were expecting to give them, so it was just a surprise for us that the surprise didn't end up being the surprise. If you watch the video, you know what I'm talking about. And here we are now in the month of December, currently, for just like another day. And the big highlight here was, was Hyrung Adler as our new video editor and our first video editor ever for the channel. Now he's not editing this video because I would have had to send him all of the footage from 2022, which sending that over the internet, he probably wouldn't have gotten it until 2024 based on my upload speeds. So I'm editing this one, but I'm just curious, like, am I gonna be able to hand him Music Mondays? I don't know, I'm not sure. For now, we're gonna have him do the Saturday vlogs and we'll see how that goes. And I appreciate you guys uh, leaving comments and supporting and of course comments and like buttons help us support this channel and help it keep growing for the foreseeable future. I appreciate it. What you doing out here? You trying to sneak out here? Come on. We want to need an update on baby. <laughs> There's your update. <laughs> Everybody has been very respectful of not coming out here and making noise even though I didn't ask while I filmed this video. And now, now we're at the end of it. I hope you guys all had a wonderful 2022. I'd love to hear down in the comments some of the highlights for you guys. As I always read all your comments, I love going down there and reading about what's going on with y'all folks out there in the great YouTube watching world. Especially if there's anywhere we, we could help with you guys. If there's any needs out there, we'd love to uh, help in any way we can with any of those. Don't be shy. If you got some needs, let us know what they are and we'll see if we can't help you ourselves or, or get you to the people that can. Um, and yeah, uh, it's been a wonderful time. I'm looking forward to many more years, but 2023 should be even more awesome than 2022 was if it keeps going the way it's been going. So thank you guys for all your support. I really love you guys and all the support you've given this channel over the years. Um, 
And some of you guys that are diehard have been here, never miss a single video. We got a revolving door of people that come through, which is fine. It's just, you know, it is what it is. But I, I really appreciate all you guys that have been sticking with us for the long haul. Um, guys, take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. And we'll see you at the Reptile Super Show next weekend. Aloha. I saw the flashes in the dark.